Welcome to the November 17th meeting of the Berlin Conservation Commission in accordance with Governor Baker's March 2020 order superseding certain provisions of the open meeting law due to the outbreak of COVID-19 virus. This meeting will be held remotely via the Zoom platform. All participants should be aware that anything you say, share, or show on camera during this meeting will be recorded and uploaded to the Town of Berlin YouTube channel. This is a virtual location. This virtual location was listed on the agenda along with all necessary links for public attendance. Audience, member, audience members who wish to participate should use Zoom's raise hand function and you will be called upon by the chair when appropriate. When recognized, callers should clearly state their name and address before asking a question or making a comment. Please remember to mute your microphone when not speaking and speak clearly to ensure accurate minutes. Uh, each vote taken during this meeting will be conducted via roll call. I will now confirm that all members of the Conservation Commission are present and can hear me before opening the meeting. Uh, Robin. Here. AJ. Here. Holly. Here. Louise. Oh, Got to unmute Louise. Here. There you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, we open the meeting at 7.08. And... And Maddie just arrived. Excellent. Hey, Maddie. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, so first on the agenda, review. Um, so approve the minutes for, from, the, from the previous meeting. Everybody get a chance to go over those. Yeah, I just had one comment. Um, I apologize, I didn't get it sooner. On section two, the new business number three B, I think that should probably be number four, I would think. The certificate of compliance. Right now it's um, under the Northboro multi-use trail. Ah, all right, hold on one second. Let me open it up. Okay, yeah, it's listed as B under item three. Well, that should be four. Item three. Say that again. Oh, new okay. business. Yeah. Yep, new business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Three. Okay, so item three is the new uh, trails, North Road trails. And then B should actually be item number four request for certificate of compliance. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I think the computer did that because I remember it being before. <laughs> but right. the little guy in the computer that does things like that. Exactly. The little gremlin that lives in your computer. Exactly. Yeah. Um, all right. Anything else? All right, hearing nothing else, I'll take a motion to approve the minutes as amended. A motion I'll to, I'll second. That's Robin? Yeah, you gotta be quicker, okay. Holly. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I knew you were gonna get it. So I'll just, <laughs> I'm gonna let you have it. Next time I'll just stay quiet, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, you girls play nice. <laughs> all right. Um, all those in favor? Oh, well, roll call vote. AJ? Aye. Holly? Aye. Robin? Aye. Louise? Aye. Carolyn? Aye. All right. 
Next, we move on to the treasurer's report. Robin, I hear you have actual new numbers for us. I do. So I ordinarily don't do the update at the second meeting, but since I gave numbers at the first meeting of the month and now I have the backup from June, I'm going to just give an update on that. So this is effective as of September 30th. So for the wetlands fund, we have $12,025.47. 47 cents? Yep. Okay. And for the open space fund, we have $236,968. And 19 cents. And then for the budget, we have $1,703. Awesome. And then there was something. Oh, and then, so I had put down further down under new business just to make sure we didn't forget. Um, but Rob, how many documents do you have that you're gonna put up in the mailbox? Uh, so I think there's already two there. I'm gonna have, let's see, one, two, there should be three more. So there should be, three new ones and then there's one document it's louise's um reimbursement so louise you can't sign that one but i need one more person to sign that one and i think the, the other one might be fully signed so it's just these three but if somebody else can sign that one other document which i believe is louise's um reimbursement we need that done as well i can go over so, tomorrow do you know what time you'll drop the others off so I'll probably do it around lunchtime. So if you could do it later in the day, that would be be great. Or Friday. Uh, yeah, as soon as possible, because the um, certificate of compliance that we approved at our last meeting, the um, homeowners looking for that so that they can, uh, I believe they're selling their house and they okay. need it in order for the sale to go through. So yeah, and I'm trying to remember if that one was fully signed. That one might be fully signed already, but I don't remember. But I'll look when I drop this stuff off right. and see what was. If you'll look, <clears throat> and if it is, if you'll make two copies, okay, um, and then leave the well, you can leave them all in the box, but the original needs to go to the um, property owner. So either margaret or mary or eloise will probably be there if you could just get an envelope and put his name in it on the envelope um john miller i believe mm -hmm. and then put that in our mailbox for him to pick up and shoot me an email i'll email him and tell him he can pick it up there okay that'll probably be the fastest way for him to get that okay um and then uh there was one other thing oh and can you print a copy of the minutes that we just approved oh yeah all right and, i better start making a list <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> just right, since you're well, already going to be there um, yeah because june needs those to go with that soul signer document oh yeah yeah well oh that's right because it was last last time yeah minutes. okay yeah yeah um All right, so it was two copies and then the original to the homeowner. Correct, yep. And then Maddie, the next time you're in the building, um, one of those copies needs to be mailed to DEP. Uh, and I will get you that address. Okay, I plan on swinging by probably tomorrow afternoon. Okay. 4.30ish, yeah. Excellent. Uh, and I have another task for you too, Maddie, but that's coming up. Um, all right, so I think, oh, and then um, 
Robin, you also have the reimbursement for Sudbury Valley trustees for the um, for the bridge materials. Yep. So that's three hundred and thirty nine dollars and seventy five cents. Right. So that's one of the documents that everyone needs to sign. Yep. And then there's um, also going to be this invoice um, that we got earlier. Right. So. Oh, this was all so much easier when we could all sit in the same room, mm -hmm. I know. pass the documents around the table, get it all done. Um, all right. Well, so that's it for the treasurer's report. Yes. Yes. All right. So we kind of merged bills and forms into that as well the next items on our agenda. So the reimbursement for the postage and the invoice from Sudbury Valley trustees for the bridge. I believe we had approved up to 500 and it came in um, less than four. So that worked out well. Uh, so good news, Community Preservation Act distribution from the state happened on Monday. And the um, Berlin got a hundred percent match. So we got two hundred and eighty one thousand. That's awesome. Remember. Yeah. Yep. So it was a record year. If real estate stays strong, we'll have a good year next year, too. Yeah. So are we getting that getting most of that in that? Because we, we got how much did we get approved at town meeting? Was it so or something? The, was that last year's and this year's? That was last year's. Okay. So none uh I think the items that we approved at town meeting, I think there's only like thirty thousand dollars of the um, five hundred and sixty-two that we just got that we will have now between what the town has raised and what we got matched. Um, okay. only like 30,000 of that has been spent. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, How much did we get for CPA reimbursement? It, well, it wasn't a reimbursement. It was the dispersal. Dispersal. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry, distribution. Right. CPA dis state distribution. Uh, 281,000. I could get you the exact number. Okay. Um, hold on, let me just figure out which email that's in. suppose I should have had that open before the meeting. Sorry about that, guys. So Berlin got $281,250. OK. Mm -hmm. So all right. So that's good news. Um, kind of bummed Walter's not here. That was big thing for him. Uh, all right, and then, so the only other email that I have to share, so 275 Central Street, that is that little green house that's between Taylor Road and the on-ramp to 495. Um, that was auctioned off a couple months ago and the new owner is gonna change its use from a single family home to an office. And the ZBA has asked for a letter from conservation, just saying that we're fine with that. Uh, I did check on the Mass Oliver and there are wetlands across the street, but 
I think they're more than a hundred feet away plus route 62 is in the middle of it. So um, if everybody is fine with that, Maddie is going to write that letter. <laughs> yeah, do we have to take an official vote or? That's, I, I don't know that we need to, but if hmm. we would like to, we can. Okay. Someone want to make a motion? I'll motion to what is it, approve. What are we motioning? Writing a letter to approve converting that property to an office. 275 Central Street. 275 Central Street. Yep. I second. All right, Holly. <laughs> I didn't know um, what to say for the motion. I'm glad Robin did. I didn't either. <laughs> but you did better than me. Um, any other? Anybody else have anything else to say before we vote? Hearing none. Uh, AJ. Aye. Holly. Aye. Robin. Aye. Louise. Aye. All right. Thank you guys. So Maddie, if you need more information about what the letter should say and all that, just um, we can chat afterwards. All right. Uh, no updates on Maplewood Farm other than I did get a notice that they're importing some soil from Waltham. So that seems to be going along you know, hopefully they'll get it done soon and get that site stabilized. Um, Highland Ridge, Pat's newest um, report, everything looks good. He's checking, they have built the rear retention pond and he's just checking the as-built uh, compared to the plan to make sure that everything is good. Supposedly it is actually a little bit smaller than what was approved. So, um, but it's holding water after that la the storm we had. Wasn't, yeah, it must've been Friday's rain. So, so that's good. Uh, 100 River Road. So that's the old spooky world property that we have the enforcement order against. Um, I actually got an email from a realtor. He has somebody who's interested in buying the property and cleaning it up. Um, so I put him in touch with Dave Burke who had been working on it. And then I got an email from Dave that he, um, got the got the I don't know if it was an email or a phone call but has been contacted but hasn't contacted them back yet so hopefully that will happen soon and we will be able to get this one off the books and 36 Dudley no news um all right moving right along so under new business, I have been contacted by um, Kyle Tucker. I don't know if anybody, AJ, you said you know him. I don't know if anyone else. Yep. Um, the name sounds familiar. I don't know why. Yeah, well, his dad owns Sign Logic in Hudson. And uh, maybe I just recognize his name from Facebook or something like that. Oh, Facebook probably. Page. He's very active on Berlin Neighbors Connect. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. That must be where I know his name from. Yep. Uh, so, you know, he was saying that he wanted to get involved with the town and what did I know about what openings were and everything. And I, we chatted back and forth and I just casually said, oh, and we're looking for somebody to lead a trails committee. I said, we have plenty of people who want to help, but no one who actually wants to coordinate it and organize it. 
And um, he seemed to, he said that actually would be a good fit for him. He was going to come tonight, but he's having, he had some minor surgery today. So he will be at our next meeting. Um, but, oh, Peg's not here yet. I was going to, I, I believe, so the trails committee will be a subcommittee of the conservation commission. And I believe that he will need to be approved or appointed by the select board. Um, I was just going to ask Peg tonight, but since she's not here yet, I will ask Margaret. <clears throat> and what is his name again? Kyle, K-Y-L-E, Tucker. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else, you guys. This is, this might be a record. <laughs> you mean like anything else? Like we could be done? Like, I think so. Holy cow. I know we've never. So like if I, I motion to end the meeting, somebody could second it. Well, we could let's think done. about this for a second. <laughs> let's make sure. <laughs> but wait a minute. We haven't done all business yet. Uh, well, I mean, so. So continued use of 40 caves. I was hoping Walter would be able to report on that, but he is not here. I haven't heard anything else, but um, you know, since whoever um, the police actually issued a couple tickets um, about a month ago, and that at least to date seems to have quieted that down um so like i said i was hoping walter would have some information about that no update on the linden street parking lot um hopefully the highway department will be in a little bit better shape in the spring and they'll be able to we'll address that then but i want to just leave that on the agenda for now so we don't forget and we already talked about CPA. I guess I had it on here twice. Um, and that's it. Anybody, does anybody have anything? Louise, have you heard anything? No, I haven't actually. Yep. Oh, AJ, you said that you were going to, so there was a rail trail thing that you were talking to me about? Right, uh, up in Acton, and I think that's the trailhead, uh, there's a, uh, I think it's Lewis Freeman, it's Freeman uh, Rail Trail. It's, um, as near as I can tell, um, because things have, have kind of fallen out of the, out of the news cycle a little bit, but, um, this thing got underway a couple of years ago, and they're having their annual um, uh, meeting on Sunday from two to four, and I'm going to go up and attend that. And uh, maybe I can pick a few brains, find out what uh, what it took to get them going on that, because um, I'm I'm really interested in the trails in our community not just the aqueduct trail, which uh, I hope um, we get something going on that, but also the that rail property that we have that uh, could certainly be developed in in uh, perhaps in time. So, so AJ, I talked to um, Pete Sutton at MassDOT a month or two ago, and he asked that we um, <clears throat> submit a, like a Mass Trails grant to, and start getting the feasibility study going. So I guess, the feasibility study that they did that was issued last year or was that this year whenever it was i guess we need like a more in-depth one particularly for west of coburn road so 
I actually, um, yeah. actually, so I do have an update now that I say that. I did reach out, kind of an update. I reached out to Bill DeSantis today just to see where he was from BHB on getting a proposal. So hopefully we'll have a proposal next week, but we may need to get two more for this grant proposal. So we may have to do that. So, so AJ, if you're interested in helping with like the grant proposal and whatnot, yeah. I was going to get that going soon. And um, I, I, we need to find like, actually one thing, if you could find out if there's like two other firms that we could get quotes from. Um, so VHB is the one that did the, the mass dot feasibility study. So I've already reached out to him, but um, if anybody has any other names, you know, that might be a good thing to ask yeah. there. I was also going to reach out to Franny Hodge over in Clinton and see um, if she could recommend anybody just because I'm, I'm almost positive. I remember from last year, looking at the, the grant application that we need to have three, three quotes, but the thing is that's really more so set up for getting like funds for actual construction. So they do, they do give grants for the feasibility studies through that, but um so I don't know if they'd be real sticklers for us having three propo three proposals, but we probably should. So I belong to an organization and have for quite a few years called Rails to Trails Conservancy, mm -hmm. and um, you know mostly I used it for their app. As I was traveling, I would mm -hmm. you know key it up, and it would say there are fourteen trails within twenty miles of where you're standing right now, mm -hmm. and I would use it to find bike rides. Um, but they have an, an incredible toolkit uh, for getting these things organized and, and getting them done. They don't do any of the work, but they have massive resources that they make available to members um, mm -hmm. in order to get this stuff rolling. So um, I, I think I shared that link with Caroline. <clears throat> Um, but if uh, I'll, I'll, I can share that with you too, if you want. Yeah. So I, Walter's actually been working on this for like 25 years. And so there's been a lot of back and forth in town. There's been a lot of pushback of people that don't want it, but, and that's mostly a butters. I mean, generally, I think, you know, the majority of people in town are in favor of the rail trail. It's just sort of, uh, you know, some vocal butters and, and, you know, their friends and whatnot that have, so anyway, we've tried to like, you know, since that got shot down a few years ago at um, the town meeting, we've kind of just, the, the, the state's going to come through and do it whether people want it or not. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, Berlin's kind of a critical point in, in the, the line. So they're not going to not do it um, just because people don't want it. It's, it's coming one way or another. So um, my understanding is, is that the project, or the Eversource project, um in Sudbury is is pretty much good to go so the state is planning to move forward with um the, the Sudbury and Wayland um not Sudbury, Sudbury and Hudson section so they'll likely include up to Coburn Road when they do that and that could be within the next th four years so so the feasibility study that you're looking for would be for west of Coburn Road so it would be for all, you know, so what I, one thing I talked to him about was um, it's going to be mostly for Coburn Road, but there are some, um, you know, road crossings on the, you know, east of Coburn Road. And then also I, I wanted them to look at um, road crossings at like, you know, Sawyer Hill Road and Gates Pond Road for, I mean, you know, on Gates Pond Road, we get tons of bikers that, I mean, that's, that intersection up there is insane to drive through, never mind try and cross over with a bike. So um, although I have seen people do it. So um, that's something <laughs> I'd like to, for them to look at. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's something I asked him to look at as part of this feasibility study too, was, was to look at those crossings to get to the trail. Right. So when you say, I think that's important. A crossing at <clears throat> Gates Pond Road. So like crossing over six, route 62 to get to um to get to the trail because the trail is just north of there like off central uh central street so of old central. there's so much oh i'm sorry you're right o old central so you know people are always biking on sawyer hill road and gates pond road and so they're going to be biking across route 62 to get to the rail trail so oh, i see what you mean yeah okay yeah so i think it's important that we have them look at road crossings across 62 so that there's a safe crossing 
to get people over 62 to get to the rail trail. Mm. So you're thinking over. Well, not like, not like pedestrian, oh, okay. just like, a, just like, you know, like lights yeah. and, you know, like I a mean, light I, and a crosswalk maybe. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't think we need a stoplight at Sawyer Hill road, but like, we definitely need something at Gates Pond regardless of, I mean, that's been an issue for forever. Right. So unfortunately um, that, you know, I, the state, I, I know. you know, the, the <laughs> But even the, if it's further down, I mean, they, they, you know, they could also look at, you know, they might be able to strike a deal with Highland Commons on parking and then have oh, some I'm sort sure. of crossing. Yeah. You I'm know, sure so it's something. like there could be a big picture thing there where they figure out parking there with, with Highland Commons and some sort of crossing. Maybe it's a little further down by like the Holiday Inn or something, but some way to like right. kind of safely get people across, you know, up Gates Pond, across. Yeah, um, well, 62. so Benderson owns that the corner mm -hmm. property um, yep. where that condemned building is. So there's plenty of parking there, especially exactly. if an office goes in there, there'd be weekend yep. parking. And yeah, yep. I, that I'm sure we could work something out with them on that. Yep. So I think there's a huge opportunity there to find parking and, you know, create safe passage across and maybe if we're lucky to solve our issue at the end of Gates Pond Road in the in the meantime right wouldn't that be amazing oh, that, would, that would be a miracle but I mean if they're going to be looking at five corners you know I mean this, that's you know these are they're looking at difficult intersections so might as well right. throw this one on <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah that would be wonderful yeah so so yeah Excellent. but AJ if you could if you um could get some references on um engineers that we could possibly work with other than VHB, um, that would be helpful. So uh, do you, because I actually know the lead engineer who did Highland Commons, um, I actually know him pretty well. If it would, do you think it would help if I just sent him a letter that's a uh, quick email that said, Hey, can you? Is it that we're not getting a response from VHB or? Oh no, no, no! I, I talked to. Oh, so I was going to say because I thought VHB also did Highland Commons, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you know, so the, all the big guy, projects. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, no, this guy's been responsive. He told me he wouldn't have it until the middle or, or you know around this time. So I just followed up with him today. Okay. And he said they should have something next week. So. Um, yeah, so it's not, it's not an issue of him not being responsive. I, I knew he wasn't going to have it for a couple of weeks, at least. Okay. Excellent. From when I talked to him, I should say. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. So you'll keep up on that. Yep. And yeah. And so one of the other things though, in the feasibility study was to see if there was a way to route the trail a little bit further away from some of the people who were less than thrilled about it. Yeah, so, so they'll look at that. Yeah. I don't think that that was captured in the state's feasibility study. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure they didn't capture that in there. So that's the kind of stuff that they could talk about, but I right. don't know if there's any, uh, yeah, we can see how that goes. Yeah. Yep. They, they may just plow straight through, I don't know. Right. My understanding but. that the pushback was uh, was concerns about uh, increased crime. From well, there's the that too, but th th those are all just kind of excuses for I think, which I think were pretty much debunked. You know, I think. Well, I, I I looked into that after I heard that, and uh, there were a number of studies um, on this website for the Rails Trails Conservancy that said it just isn't so. Not that there's never crime, but mm -hmm. they said the, the preponderance of crime is things like littering and um, mm -hmm. graffiti and things like that. But yep. property crimes Which, and personal injury crimes and things like that, they happen, but it's so rare. Yep, exactly. So, yep. So, yeah, so it's, it's, oh, go ahead, Karen. I was just going to say there's already graffiti on any structure back there anyway. Yeah. So yep. if anything, yeah, so I think there would be less because there would actually be people on the trail. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so AJ, there's definitely been stuff kicked around about this for years, and I think we're finally getting close to the state actually being ready to do it. So I think we are going to start seeing some movement on this very soon. Excellent. Um, and, oh, Holly, did you want to talk at all about the email that you got? Um, about oh, the sure. horses? Yeah, I didn't send it around to everybody because I know the open the meeting thing. But anyway, basically, I this wasn't sent to me as a conservation member. It was like a personal email to myself. I don't even think they know I'm on the conservation commission. But anyway, oh really? Oh yeah, I no. Assumed, this was just, oh they just they found me through my website and sent it to my generic info at horse and home farm email, and they figured out it was me or they just use my name Holly. But anyway, the email basically was just saying that this person, Julie Maitlick, was walking some trails and people were complaining to her that there was horse poop on the trails and that they don't like it. And they want her to be in charge of contacting the farms, horse farms in Berlin to see if they could come up with a group that would go and clean up the poop of all the trails that we use. And I didn't know how to respond, so I sent that uh, email to Caroline. And I basically responded back to her, reiterating what you said, but just basically just saying that, that um, as far as I knew that Berlin didn't have such laws that um, manure or horses weren't allowed on conservation land trails and that since we're right to farm neighborhood town that I didn't see the issue, but if it's private land that the owners have every right to post something saying that, please remove horse manure or horses are not allowed or whatever, something like that. I didn't say, say it like that at all, but basically that's what I was trying to get at. And so she just responded and said, thank you so much for getting back to me. I'll let you know if I have any other questions. And that's all she said. So I just thought it was interesting, but I believe she was pretty much talking about that. Um, that I keep, I get the the name of those trails. She didn't specifically say. Oh which yeah, trail. over at Brewer Brook. Brewer Brook, right? Yeah. And I know there was <laughs> contention about people using access through um, Brewer Road. Um, to get to those trails and people were told not to ride through there but in the horse world I just hear all these things but I did and then um, the issue with the people with the bike and put up signs so it's obvious that the horses are allowed but um, I, I kind of wanted to respond then oh we're going to tell the deer to pick up their poop too and then we're going to tell the bear to pick up their scat like it's it's not like dog poop where it's, it's just right if there's any abundance of any single animal that is the issue it's more much more dogs than horses right and dog dog is as yeah the worst offenders i think dog poop but anyway i didn't say all that but that's just right <laughs> what i was thinking wow i didn't because when i first saw the email i'm like oh boy i'm i i to really say some things to her, but I said, no, 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 I'll just <laughs> let it go. Cause okay. I was gonna, I mean, basically horse people are, we're, we're allowed when we ride on Duncan's property or any private land around us, they welcome us. Cause we keep the trails open. Um, we keep them passable. So, I mean, even with Dave Burke's land, he kind of, he kind of said, he's like, oh, you moved a tree. I was keeping the, the bikes out. And I said, oh, okay, well, we'll put the tree back. You know, we can ride over it, but we were just trying to keep the trail clear kind of thing. So right. we respect that, but I think most people like us riding on their property. They don't complain, except, yeah. you know, this particular email. So yeah, I think, so thank you for your, for your response. And I just yeah. kind of made it sound nice. <laughs> yeah. There have been plenty of emails that I've received over the years where I have to take a step back from my initial response. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so I've, I've gotten significantly better at that. Yeah, I think part of it, while I'm on this subject, what I'm worried about is um, all the construction. I, I ride on the road a lot, and I want to talk to the town about putting up signs like on our street to slow down for horses because we have the, the people from the golf course, but also the construction vehicles that have been going by. Like, I almost died because um, a truck came by really quickly, and uh, my horse had a conniption fit. I can't control that. Luckily, I pushed her out of the way, but that kind of stuff scares me. So now I don't probably ride on the road as much as I like to, but I was thinking somehow to bring that up at some point because that's, because of all the construction that's been going around here lately, it's, it's been kind of crazy. Right. So, yeah. All right. Um, excellent. So, um, Miss Peg, I see that you've joined us. You almost missed the whole meeting. Ah, <laughs> come on. I had a slow person in front of me from Sterling tonight. I sped as quickly as I could to get here. I, within the confines of the law, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> me? Break a law, Carolyn. Right, Never. right. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, we really didn't have much on the agenda tonight. Um, but I did have a question for you, and I was glad that you did, were able to make it. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, do you know T Kyle Tucker? I've heard the name. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's pretty active on Berlin Neighbors Connect. He would like to become our new trail co uh, trail committee. I mean, you know, get gather some people and um, actually have a trail committee and he would like to run it. Really? Yeah. So the trail okay. committee would be a subcommittee of conservation. Okay. Do the selectmen want need to approve that, approve him? Yes, please. So have him fill out uh, a some volunteer form of application. Form. Yeah, doctor it up however you need to. You guys need to take a vote as a committee to say yay or nay. And then you can send it to us. You just need to do an email. You don't need to come to our oh so fun meetings on Monday. Though I try to make them entertaining. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, just, <laughs> and just say, you know, blah, blah, blah. We voted. Uh, you know, six to nothing, uh, you know, coming aboard. And we'll be like, okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. Easy peasy. Okay. Yeah, I figured. Um, but I just wanted to double check. Okay. Awesome. And do you, Peg, have anything for conservation? No, just that uh, I'm, I was very pleased at the vote uh, last Tuesday, Monday, whatever day it was. Monday. So congratulations on your hard work uh, to get that. And now that the land is secure across the street, I can continue to dump my leaves over the walls. So thank you very much. <laughs> I'll hunt you down. <laughs> well, as long as you're not, as long as you're not filling in wetlands, I guess it's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's just the leaves over they go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no, um, I'm I'm very happy for you guys. So uh, well done, good step for the for the town of Berlin to secure that land. Yep, yep. And I'm sure you heard about the CPA distribution for this year. Yes, that was brought up at our meeting that uh, Berlin was only one of 17 communities, I guess, in the state that actually got the full 100. percent Yeah, yeah. And looking down the list, they were all small towns. Yes. Yep. Um, yep. So what do you so, have in store for a uh, spring meeting? Anything? Oh, I'm sure there's lots. <laughs> um, you know, it's going to depend on how much for us anyway, how much we need to complete the um, purchase purchase of the Laura property. Um, so now so, that the town approved that, are you going to be able to go after grants? Yes. 
Cool. Now that the town approved that, Sudbury Valley Trustees is is going to purchase the property. They'll be looking for us to kind of like what we did with Wendler, where we sign yep. something with them that says no matter if we get the grants or not, we're still going to pay them back. Yep. You know, that we agree to purchase the land from them within a certain time frame. Um, so so they would never turn around and just sell it outright for a developer, correct? No. No. Okay. All right. Um, not, yeah, I, I need to talk to Krista about that. There's that rumor that going around about them doing something untoward. Yep. Uh, so I gotta, I have to get to the bottom of that because I don't really, I'm sure yeah. that's not really what happened. Yep. But yeah, yes. no, Carol and I would definitely get in front of that. Just thinking, you know, if you're going <clears> to, <throat> you guys are going to come back in May when yeah. we have another go round of funding and you stand up and say, hey, we want to buy XYZ and Sudbury Valley is going to help us. It's going to be Y so they can turn around and plop houses on it and make a profit on it. You know, blah, blah, blah. No. Right. Um, so I would just get in front of that misinformation so you can start to squash that. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's, whether it's squashable or not, I should yep. know the real, you yes. know, what really happened. Yep. Um, so that I can be able to inform people. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. and, and uh, you definitely get that out there because that's, you know, that's what I had heard as well as like, oh, great, Sudbury Valley is going to buy, you know, the five acres of land and then they're going to sell it and put up a couple of houses. Yeah. And, and like, yeah. you know, this, it then never came up with Wendler at all. No. Well, so, you yeah, know, I don't of, know if, yeah. But if somebody Carolyn, just, think of where the Wendler property is. You yeah, don't see well, that's it. True. <laughs> that's you know? true. You see. Um, Lyman and Linden. It's either going to be at the corner of Lyman and Linden, where you could pretty much just plop a house on there now, or right. where McGrail's house used to be. Um, you know, so that's I think what people are thinking of. Oh, just carve a carve a uh, lane out of Linden and make a new road, and voila, you've got uh, townhouses going in the back. Yeah. No. No, because I mean they're a land trust. Yep. Their, their prime directive is to preserve land, not to well, build houses. Well, all it takes, all it <laughs> takes is a, you know, while I yeah. was at the dump, I overheard right. Carolyn <laughs> talking to somebody about the land. And about you something that about, they heard yes, at coffee yes, it, on Wednesday morning. Correct. Yeah. And you're talking about your cousin's land in the middle of Montana, you know, that's for sale for 20 bucks. So yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. Nope. Definitely. All kinds. Yep. Cool. Um, all right. All right. So keep me posted. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Happy to. I will. Yeah. We need to start a newspaper so we can have a miss, a, a disinformation <laughs> column every week. <laughs> I know. Well, you know what, Carolyn, let me offer something to you. So every month I try to, to pull little ditties of what every committee or major things that are going on in town to put into the item. Because if you realize Berlin, Berlin is rarely ever spoken about in the item. Maybe there's one article on Berlin. Um, so if there's anything that you wanna throw my way for conservation, uh, you know, a little paragraph on blah, 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 give it to me. And, you know, Scott and Chris are like, yeah, yeah, Peg, go ahead. That's fine. And I send it over to Jan and voila, it shows up in the next week. So, right. you know, if there's anything that you can kind of sort of rumor squash with a little paragraph here and there, happy right. to assist. Okay. I will. Maddie, you keep that in mind too. <laughs> okay. Yep, Maddie, whatever you need for help too, feel free to to come on back to the board of selectmen or select people or whoever we are and um, <laughs> selected know, ones i believe yeah the select yes the chosen yeah. ones the <laughs> yeah. oh my god are you kidding we did this again chosen ones um, yeah yep yeah. so no whatever you guys need we are we're just a phone call on a monday meeting away thank you Peg. <laughs> betcha 
All right. Well, last call for any hot topics. All right, Robin, go for it. All right. Oh, did you have something, Louise? I was just going to say, I don't think um, we're ready to discuss it tonight, but it's something that AJ mentioned, and I've heard other people say that we need to start doing something about invasives. So I think we should put it on the agenda. And I do know like the town of Bolton and Lancaster, I believe, did this big study about all the, all the uh, land that the towns controls of conservation with the view of you know, taking care of the, um, the invasives. And they had quite a plan that they put together, you know, so it's something that we should look at. Right, so Maddie, you can add that to your, when you're bored. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was Bolton and what was the other town, Louise? I believe it was Bolton and Lancaster and one other town. Um, they actually had a Zoom meeting on at one time that I sat in. I'll see if I can find out the information. But what they did is they looked at each piece of, of um, conservation property uh, with the eye of, of um, you know, climate change. You know, what could they do to the property to, you know, to avoid problems with climate change. And one of the big things was the invasives because the invasives are changing the whole um, habitat of, of these areas. You know, the birds are different and, you know. Yep. I'll see if I can find it and um, I'll email it to everyone. Okay. And um, AJ, if I get more emails from CISMA, I will pass them on to you. I very much appreciate that. Uh, everything on that, on their agenda had uh, just about passed when, uh, when I received that. By the I know by the yeah. time I sent the email. Well, yeah. Yeah. And yesterday was confounded. I could have attended that except I had a prior commitment that I wasn't going to weasel out of. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. Um, critical. Um, yeah. So, you know, that would be great for us to get more involved with them um they they have all kinds of grants and money available for this and that and how to get it yeah it right was, that's a that's a pretty amazing newsletter yeah they really are quite the group um and like i said louise and i went to several meetings many years ago um but they just they tend to have lunch meetings and that's just not something someone who works can right attend um so there was something else about that though that i was going to oh um i know that when sudbury valley trustees when the last portion of the 40 caves area happened um they did a survey of the entire property and mapped out all the invasives. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I know Liz DiCara worked with them. They actually trained Liz and did somebody else from conservation? Holly, you weren't, weren't involved with that, right? I think no. John might've gone. Oh, I think you're right. I think it was Liz and John went right. to that training um so unfortunately uh but if they offer something like that again um we can they used to do all kinds of in-person stuff like that back before the world exploded um so you know maybe they'll do more programs like that again once uh post pandemic but that was a good program that they did as well. Um, AJ, do you know, have you had any contact with Dan Stimson from SVT? No. Oh, so he's know. their trails guy. Um, and he is, I think he's the one who led that. I think he is. 
Yeah. yeah. Is that the fellow we talked to about whether or not we could go in there and put up that wood duck house? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Then yeah. I did have that. Yeah. Then. Yeah. I'm looking for I remember my name every day. So. Yeah. <laughs> and don't ask me how to spell it either. Yeah. Right. I hear you. <laughs> I was signing a document the other day and I'm like, I really, I don't even know how to write my own name. <laughs> it was brutal. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, so that would be great. We'll keep up on that. And yeah, and maybe, you know, if we could get some grant money from Sismo, we could map out some of the other conservation land that we have and keep an eye on the um, intrusion of the invasive species. Mm -hmm. So Maddie, that's kind of right in your bailiwick, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is, yeah. <laughs> right, so the, for those of you who don't know, Maddie's other real job is working with the company that's doing the Asian longhorn beetle um, what like study did uh, it's a yeah eradication program so we're uh, i work for baby resource group so um we're contractors with the usda to um help monitor uh look for damage created by asian longhorn beetles and uh pretty much deal with it and it's looking really good thankfully we haven't had Woo. a positive in over a year now so really <laughs> yeah yeah but wow. that was an modern so Looking so that's good. going the other direction. That's fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, awesome. So actually, Maddie, if if at any point, maybe in the spring, if you wanted to pull together like a talk about invasives in general, um, I'd love to sponsor something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I can yeah um yeah that, it start putting together programs like that for people just to have a better idea yeah that'd be great <laughs> all right <laughs> all right i think we beat that horse to death <laughs> no pun in no no, no on, sorry bro. holly <laughs> i'll use a different one next time <laughs> okay all right no thanks Satan. Uh, all right, go Robin. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> all right, I, motion, uh, I don't even know what I have to say anymore. I motion to <laughs> close the meeting at 8.04 PM. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Second. I second. <laughs> Who seconded? I did. Uh, Holly. Holly. They don't let AJ get in at all. Nope. <laughs> you gotta be quick on that mute button. <laughs> All right, uh, AJ. Hi. Holly. Hi. Robin. Hi. Louise. Hi. Carolyn. Hi. All right, guys. Okay. We made Have fast a good night, work everyone. of that. You yeah, too. Great. See you December first. <laughs>